can. I know he's uh, used Terry quite a few times. Right. He did help Izzam make the Terry guy. But here we see the snake, the the number one. Like you gotta put the main out first, man. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, right? It goes to show how Elegant was able to do against T3. Yes, he has a Diddy, but right. sometimes putting your best foot fo foot forward and then changing your game plan if that doesn't work well could bode well for anybody here. We'll see what he can do here with Snake in play. Obviously, he has made a choice. Get a quick there. Opens up 40% for Key right there. I'm sorry, did he just throw out a bomb in between the up airs? Like, I know it needs to be frame perfect, but come on, are, is the up air not frame perfect? <laughs> Nice down throw. I like it. He waits for the roll get up on that option. And he was so close to capitalizing against Gareth Lines. Nice. Right. I like it. He aims high because he knows the one place Gareth's going to be going for is most definitely high. All right. I mean, when you play Rob, it's almost like you're playing Snake. You know, you want to go for those high recoveries when you can. Yeah. Install your opponent on the way back down. Oh, nice, right. and he waits for the roll because he knows the back end of until is big enough to take care of that stock. Yep. Oh, still getting hit by that, but oh. unfortunately, self destructs right there with his own explosion. Hey, you gotta watch out where you have to play 64s. Yep. Nice, keep taking his time here. Doesn't want to overcome it too much on Carol Fox. Oh, nice, yeah, able yeah. to roll through the down tilt. Yeah. Ooh, just sniping him with that beam right there. You know, this matchup, like, I feel like players are getting hit, and I'm not sure who's in the lead, you know? <laughs> Yeah, from one, I mean, one second it's going to be key, and the next second it's going to be Gareth Flaxen yeah. with the up air. Even that's so strong, able to take out Snake, even though he's so heavy. Oh, oh I was going to say, that was a close call. I, I was like, oh, he read the he read the air dodge, and he's going to dare just like end this man's life. But, you know what, not believing in himself, not going for anything. And, you know what, just letting him get back in the center stage. And now Keith has an opening, but, you know what, still has not found his stock, and you know what, Rob is just going to be like, okay, you didn't finish me when you had the chance? Well, I'm going to take this all the way and just nickel and dime you and just punish you for every second you don't kill me. Nice. I like it. Inched in a little bit closer by holding and shield. I like how he just walked with shield and knows, you know what, I got to get close enough where I can do something. Down tilt or a grab. Close. Another back air. But he takes enough time to go for a dash attack, and that does put him center stage here. Gotta watch oh. out on the getup. Yet again, I love this just dash in, dash out with the down tilts. Nice, gets the up tilt. Sees that Kira is dashing in a little bit too much. He wants to make sure he punishes him for it. Can't let him move for free. Right. 124. Snake is a heavyweight, but we saw we saw how that up air was able to take care of him. Right. I mean, a simple grab at this percent will probably kill him. Oh, yeah. I mean, probably down throw to up air will definitely kill, but like up throw is, might be debatable just because Snake is heavy. He probably needs to add on like another 5%, but. Down throw? Will that be enough here for Kira? And he's yeah. able to re read the fact that he gets up. Even if Key were to mash out at such high percent, it wouldn't have been worth I mean, one of those things where you gotta do the, the mash or no mash mix up. And if you're next to the opponent, you might be able to hear that option. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Especially with the way how we have our setups here. All right. I mean, that might be one reason not to have, like, headphones. It's like, is he going to mash or is he not going to mash? Oh, he chose the mash? Okay, up air immediately. Yeah. You know? I hear, well, Kira Flax on the first game. He wasn't too far off, honestly. Right. Couple, I want to say 30% kind of separated who could have took that last game. And with the way that Key was looking to get the comeback. I feel like the, the turning point in that game was the second stock. Yeah. Like, once Kira Flax took that second stock first, he just played a completely defensive game, you mm -hmm. know? And so instead of kind of just slugging it out, where, like, both players were taking, like, 10 to 30%, like, 
Kirillov was like, you know what? I'm not going to commit to anything at this point. I'm just going to shoot my lasers, get my, my top, and just let you kind of just nickel and dime myself with victory. All right, well, he starts off with a great start. 36% on the Kira Flags, making sure he's the one reading the projectile game. Sorry, the item game. So the says the grenades and the gyro are in play. Good parry punishes Kira. You get that frame advantage. You get the punish right in play. All right, looks like he is going to turn things up to 11 here already with a, such a big deficit. Nice, and he gets the cross up and the down throw. Almost gets the back end. What a, what a stylish finish that would have been. Here we go, Key with the early lead right here, but you know, a lead is only as far as you can take it before you find the kill. Yeah. I like it, had the C4 in play, wanted to use it to call out Kiraflex for possibly going for a jump. Four tilt, not gonna be able to do it. 169 though, Key was such a lead. Yeah. I mean, definitely the next time he gets grabbed, that's gonna be down throw up air or up tilt and I'll be dead. Yeah, and at this point, Kira knows back air, and he puts Key off the stage here. If Key had a lead, it's almost gone with the percent that Kira finds himself with Rage now activated. And you know what? This is even. Oh, nice, and the grenade just in the nick of time to have yeah. Key escape. Yeah, this is it. Oh, yeah. All right, Key looking to stalk here a little bit, and I like the play too. He's got such a lead and the stalk lead as well. He knows, you know what, if Kira wants to make a play, fine. I'm gonna have to play lane, win the game, and find Kira's pattern of how he approaches me. Oh. No, he's good, he's good, he's good. Oh my god. I, I was scared for Key right there, because he's like, oh, that's more until that's gonna get grabbed, but oh no. The, oh, I, no. I like it though, because he's not gonna give Kira the time to stall himself in the air, as Kira would like to be comfortable with. Yeah. He's taking away a lot of Kira's comfort options. Kira would have been comfortable getting that down throw with the grenade in play. He wasn't able to get it at all. But the fact that it blew up because he threw out that back air too. Oh, that's, that's a vibe check. That's oh. a vibe check. That's a vibe check. Three stocks and the C4 finish in play. Key strikes back, putting up one point on the board for himself. I mean, Key, you know, we, I was talking about like, you know, when Kira Flax got that second stock game one, mm -hmm. like momentum shifted in, uh, Kira Fox's flavor. He basically did that, like, oh, that was cute. I'm going to steal that. And did that first stock in game two. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Key even checks the nails. Like, yo, man, was that even, did I sweat? Where's the sweat on my hands? I don't even feel it anymore. Like, I was like, I, I believe I am the one on PR now. You're not. So let me <laughs> prove that. All right, well, Kira with a, such a massive play off the gyro. All right, well, both players pretty much out for blood, neck and neck. And game three. Now Kira looking to lead the charge. Nice, he's got the grenade in play, just in case. But 70% here, and the side special to put Key off the stage. I like how he's gonna have to use that. Can he slow himself with a C4? And he gets the tech on the right back up. But, oh my god, he destroyed the Cypher, but not before he air dodged the yeah. safety. He's able to come back on the stage, but at the cost of such high percent. Yeah. Oh, oh. That, was, that was cheeky. I like that, I like that. You know, I thought it was like, is he gonna get up air to up air? But yeah. no, he didn't go for it immediately. And he was just like, okay, you air dodge, so I'm gonna get the down smash instead. I like how he is cooking these grenades here. And he kind of rides back around Kira Flax. That if Kira is trying to hit him, he's gonna have to worry about getting hit by the grenade. And he immediately goes for the backer out of shield for that percent as well. A really good get off me option, but also punishes Kira for over approaching. You know what, he's just trying to inch his way into the zone, but you know, Kira Flag's not gonna make it easy for him. Yeah, 123 to 36 though, he hasn't taken too much percent. Right. But you know what, that fair basically did double damage because of his grenade. And now Miss like, grab. again, punishing for that Nikita right there. I like the Nikita had Kira Flax have gone for a different play. Up tilt, that'll do it. Nice, stalls himself to the ledge here and finds an opportunity to come back. I like how he even holds Kira with the C4. Even if he doesn't take damage, he wants to make sure Kira is gonna be in place for he to be at the ledge, but Kira will not falter on that jump recovery. Okay, that was that was a little bit cheeky right there, but I, I like the attempt right there. You know, throwing out a long-lasting hitbox. 
trying to like wait out the Angel of Invincibility platform, but you know what? It's not going to be able to do it in time. And still running away with the lead at this point. You know, kind of overlapping him in the sense. I feel like this entire set is just going to come down to who gets that first kill and really set the pace for the rest of the game. Yeah. Nice. Tricks it up a little bit with the grenade toss. Go down tilt. Ooh. Oh no! And in the middle of it, he wanted to punish him with up tilt. But Kira has done that twice to the key now. He's done the dash dance to kind of mix up key. No, it's really funny because I do that with Mac a lot too. Where like I'll dash, <laughs> I'll dash forward, and I'll dash away, and I'll forward dash. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where like the simplest of options, but yeah. it kind of mixes the key on the timing there. Yeah, because I mean, usually a lot of people will either spot dodge or they'll jump. Or in Keith's case, because you're a snake, you can up tilt. You yeah, know? but I'm surprised he's going with the dark. I, I honestly, honestly, dude, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know why Kiraflex does this. He does it every single time. Like he'll be winning indefinitely with a character, and then he'll just switch to Dark Pit and possibly lose. But hey, man, if Kiraflex wants to prove me wrong here, now is the time. You know, what? I feel like he doesn't want a, a repeat of Game Two, where like he's just like, okay, he figured out my Rob, and just trying to keep him on his toes, so that yeah. for Game Five, if it does come to that situation, he's kind of like he has to readjust. To the but the one thing that Dark Pit and Pit have is slow. I mean. We'll see how it goes, man. So far, it's kind of neck and neck. Right. Only a couple percent separating the two here. I mean, definitely the thing that the pits have over Rob is that they can throw out that projectile pretty much constantly. You know, with yeah. Rob, you have to wait a little bit before you can throw out another uh, down B or neutral B. A little too soon on the C4 explosion. Keep plants it in center stage here. Oh, but that quick spike right there just takes away key stock. Yeah, it does meet the 7% armor threshold to take care of the Cypher. Oh, I didn't even think he needed the, the, the Cypher kill. It just straight up spiked him if he died from that. Nice. Key looking to set up the trap here. He wants to make sure Kira has to fight himself way back on the stage. And that allows, that forces Kira to have to go for a high recovery in which Key will capitalize with the up air. And you know that grenade coming in super clutch for Key right there, avoiding yeah. getting juggled. And yet again, getting a combo right there. You know, Key really showing, like, you know, you probably shouldn't have switched off that raw because I'm going to make you suffer for that. Yeah. And you got to count the jumps. No, the pits have three jumps. Nice, moves around the platform, kind of picking up Kiraflex. Yeah, nice. I feel like he wanted to go for the grab armor and then capitalize off of it from the down throw. All right. Hey, now that he's at 100%, no, he's just looking for that up tilt kill. Back throw? No, nice, change it up here with the down throw. And he set himself up for a perfect position to try to get the back air. Right. Dash attack, not going to be able to quite do it. You know, nice. I like what Kiraflex is doing. He's just like, okay, you want me to dash in and run into the, the C4 or just pretty much anything? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you what you want. I'm just going to sit back, throw arrows, and you're going to have to come to I'll me. Talk, yeah. But you know what? He's just like, fine. I'm going to grab you eventually. I'm going to find that kill. Did he find it? Oh, what a change up with, with the down smash, too. I love how it just barely clipped key. You know, he was looking for that air dodge in to avoid it and just barely got hit by the second hit. Yeah. Of the thing about key too is that in the time that he's taking to set up things with Snake here, Kiraflex has enough speed to kind of meet Snake and then deal damage over it. All right. Not enough to on shield here. And you know, all this percent's racking up for both players, you know. Yeah, because I'm down for the wire on game four. Yep. Ooh, I love that single hit of fair. Back air? Not going to be enough. enough. Snake is a heavyweight. Oh, snipes him with the arrow. But there's the back air. No. no he's good. He's good. Yeah. And he saved him at the last second. Right. Yet again, he had the back air. He had the right option, but gets a sour hit of it, so it didn't send him away far enough. 
throw. Fourth throw. And now the, the, the grenades are able to disrupt them, and he has to go high. Right. Nice. He's looking at kind of taking away oh, from no, Kira. Oh, no, that's death. Yeah, no. that is death. He does not snap the ledge, and he tells him he got lucky with the, <laughs> with the RPG. Oh, no. He lost that one. He yeah. lost that one. Kira Black's, you know he wanted a double jump from Legend Fair, but then he yeah. drifted back. And then he, was he drifted back out of fear of the things that he has set up set himself up. up. Yeah. But what he should have been looking at, I was like, okay, hold up. If Down I smash will actually have enough. Yeah. Oh my god. You, you know Kira Flax is just screaming inside of his Oh, that's soul. why he popped up his chair. He's like, I, I gave him that. And he's yeah. so lucky because I gave him that. Yeah. But you can't call it luck when you call it skill for key to actually understand. Yeah. You know what? I have the ledge set up for a good reason, right. and I went for down smash for a reason. Right. Is the explosion does have the radius in which I can do it to stop Pit from landing. And Pit's recovery doesn't have invincibility frames. It's really, really good in terms of range, but the invincibility frames are not there. Alright. All right. So now the moment of truth does oh yep, here's Rob. Yeah. And I'm telling you, Kira Flex does this all the time. He's winning with Rob, and then he switches to Pit the last game when he could have won with Rob all the way through. And this gave Key the chance to put himself up here at Game 5. Right. Yet again, all these down tilts just doing so much damage. I mean, right off the bat here, he already took in 69%, climbing even higher, but now he strikes back with a Nair out of shield after the grenade. Oh, he had the C4 in the right place, but unfortunately being caught in the air was perfect placing for Rob's upper. That's how strong it is. It's enough to actually take out Snake, which is heavyweight. Yeah. I mean, he was at like 100% and it still killed yeah. him. Like, even though it's that high up, good pressure. Even if that wasn't going to do damage to Kira, once again, it's enough to kind of hold him in place at the ledge. And quick bear out of shield. Now bear. Nice. And I like the cross up there. Yep. There we go. Snake looking for that landing option. Not going to find it, but the grenade explodes on both of them. I like how he uses that explosion to kind of cover his forward tilt, too. Oh, but the explosion catching Kira Flax off guard. And you know what? Yeah, again. It, it is deceptively huge. Yeah. He's got to be walking. Right. Okay, nice. Sets up pressure here. Oh, Vibe check the on the shield. Yeah, and yet again, he'd rather get exploded right there than rather get his shield broken and die at like 40. Uh, the last hit of upper, able to just take care of Snake on that one. Yep. He was working so well to kind of catch up there on the stocks. Nice, moves in from the platform. Every time Key is moving, he's making sure there's something covering him, either the C4 or the grenade, and even at times the Nikita. Right. There you get Fortel throwing him off stage. Oh, I like that. Using Up the air, yeah. but you know what? Your grenade kind of scoring him. He's got to watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And I like it too. He knows, you know what? I have to keep the grenades in play because he might try to toss out Gyro. Oh, so close. 45 to 99 here. Key is definitely close to taking this over Kira. If you can keep the plays right, but getting hit by your own C sorry, grenades is not going to be enough. Right. No cross up after the grenade. And you know what? Kira Flax is looking for this one kill off. Oh, he tried to drag him down. And that's, yeah, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. Yep. Kira Flax is just like, thank God, I did not drop the set. If only the gods have told us how to DI. Rob's up 